today's video we're going to be working on our shims that go in between our bearings and we're also going to be working on our bushings now I'm cut the shims out of some inch and a half aluminum stock and then I took it out to the G0602 and I'm just turning the outside dimension down here to 34.98 somewhere around in there uh, so it'll fit down in our bearing pocket and then the inside of the bearing is about 25 millimeters uh, now I just need to trim it and then size it up to length and I'll do that uh, on the manual lathe because each one of them is going to be a little bit different Good. okay so I brought the shims over and cut each one with the quarter band about 10 millimeters wide and then I stuck it in my small lathe here and faced each end and brought it down to size they all varied a little bit but they were around eight millimeters thick uh, because we bored the holes manually for the bearings they all varied a little bit in depth so this was the easiest way to size each one of the spacers and then I had to mill out machine the bushings now this is an inch and an eighth bar stock you really only need about seven eighths of an inch bar stock but I had this laying around so I decided to use it I probably would have been better off in fact after I got done and spent a couple hours doing this I went online and realized I could have just bought the bushings the exact size I needed it was like $24 off eBay for nine of them uh, the inside dimension is around 16 millimeters and the outside dimension is uh, less than 20 uh, maybe 19.5 millimeters 19 millimeters somewhere around in there uh, but I center drilled and then progressively bored each a little bit bigger uh, until I got to a half inch drill bit and then I came back and finished it up with a boring bar to get my inside dimension of around 16 millimeters and then I took and had to bring down the outside dimension uh, to around 19 like I said 19 millimeters uh, and this took very very long time but uh, I was able to push through and get it done okay guys so the key to this whole bearing setup is this shim and this bushing so let me see if I can explain how this whole setup works these are angular contact bearings and they're meant to be used in pairs and they're meant to be put back to back the two outer races are meant to have a fixed location and then the two inner races are squeezed together which puts pressure up against the race this outer race is shaped like this with the bearing sitting in there like so and as you squeeze the inner race, because the inner race is shaped like this, Let's see if I can hold this. So as you squeeze the inner race, it puts pressure up against the outer race, like so. And that keeps your uh, backlash down. It keeps nice tension on your uh, bearings. So by putting them back to back, then when we slide them over the inner race hits the shoulder here then we put on our shim which only hits the outer race and then we put our second bearing on again it only hits the outer race like so and then once this is down inside the bearing pocket our cover goes on which puts pressure on the outer race and keeps that locked so that those have pressure on them like so and then this bushing slides over 
and only puts pressure on the inner race which when we tighten it down with our jam nut it puts pressure on that bushing and squeezes the inner race together and that's how we adjust the take up any backslash that might be in there it's uh it's a really nice system works really well and it takes care of a lot of the uh, issues with bearings now I shot some video on how I machine these bushings this is just a piece of uh, inch and a quarter I believe or inch and a half uh, aluminum stock and we machine this on the G0602 I shot some video of that and then next is these bushings now I didn't have any stock to make these bushings out of that was the right diameter you really only need something that's uh, maybe seven eighths of an inch steel rod uh, the inside diameter is 15 millimeters it needs to slide over could be 16 or so doesn't need to be tied on there just needs to press on the race there and of course it needs to be whatever you make this I happen to make these 20 millimeters so it needs to fit down inside there like so but all I had was this uh, steel bar so this took quite a bit of time I had the G0602 set up on something else, so I ran these on the uh, my little lathe. It took forever, but I got it done. You can see there was a lot of machining that had to take place to get to this bushing, but get yourself some 7 8 inch steel rod. Uh, or you can actually buy these bushings. Uh, I did find these bushings. And you can get them with uh, the inner and outer diameter to match what you're uh, going to be using. Uh, different prices. They're not really cheap. Real cheap, but I think I saw them like 9 for $25 or something. Um, or one, I saw one for $10. So one of them was carbon steel, which really doesn't matter. You could probably make these out of um, brass, but I went ahead and made these out of steel. They may, you may even get away with aluminum. Uh, the shim's not really going to have any kind of friction on it. It's not going to turn. So it should be good. Uh, the only reason this would turn is if your bearing's locked up, which would take forever probably. Uh, these are not spinning at a lot of RPMs like with the spindle. So that's how I made the shim and the bushing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thanks for watching the videos. Please subscribe. Thumbs up if you like the video. And most importantly, be safe.